Hey guys, I just wanted to make this quick update video. Um, so basically everything is going great with VidCon plans. Uh, everything is shipped or paid for or just in tow. Uh, I've already got majority of the clothing that I need. Um, I think all I'm waiting on clothing wise is my Disney Day shirt. Um, besides that, I think I have almost everything. Like, everything I have now, I could still do the cosplays. It's just the little detailed things that I'm waiting on now. Um, but I have some exciting news. Uh, because Scare to Care just happened, which is a charity event run by, uh, Vernon and Tim Shaw. Um, Vernon, everyone knows of Hot Pepper Gaming and now Game Grumps. Uh, just finished the charity event and I think they, they raised about um, $57,000 last time I checked. Like it literally just ended, I mean not to date this, but it literally just ended like an hour ago I think. Um, but in that, Vernon was offering if you paid $100 you could have a 10 minute Skype call with him. And I donated to that and I'm going to talk to Vernon and I'm trying to get things set up so I can do a really fun um, trivia contest basically at VidCon kind of like a, a, a trivia contest slash like scavenger hunt um, because I have a whole group of people who are gonna be dressed as game grump people um, I thought it'd be neat if we um, basically did like what one shirt does with the trivia takeover and we'll tweet it out and tweet out the question or like say hey come find you know come find Sarah she's dressed as Susie and like send a pic like of course post it with a picture so they're not just looking for a random person um come find her answer a question or like answer a que uh, KKG question or like a Mortimer question win this prize and like I've I, I will admit I originally wanted to work with one shirt and maybe get some like I would buy shirts and stuff from them but like maybe ask for a discount I don't know I didn't want to sound like a, a mooch or something but um basically work with them to like get like have merchandise and like just recognizable merchandise because it's like if you, if you just come up with like a random shirt it's like oh I don't really care about that but it's like oh that's the cat paw kkg shirt it's like people recognize that and it's like we want that and um there's there's a demand for it basically <coughs> but um they've been sold out for like the last month and I don't know what's going on I've emailed them once I've DM them on Twitter. I've tweeted at them because a month ago they did show interest in helping me. Um, but I just haven't heard from anyone and their whole website is sold out and I don't know why. Um, so hopefully talking to Vernon will either get me in contact with the right people or it'll just clear the air on whatever's going on on one shirt's end. Um, or even just get Vernon's help. Like, help spread the word when it comes to like doing the trivia and stuff like that because he's gonna be at VidCon thankfully um I mean hopefully I'll get to run into him and he'll get to see all of us dressed as grumps and stuff because I talked to him about it when I was at the live show because I went to the first uh LA live show uh for the grumps I in there and I told him about the cosplays and all that and he was super excited to hear about that and it was really sweet because he was like, oh yeah, now I gotta convince them to come and like go to VidCon so they can see this. And I was like, it's fine. Like, we're still taking pictures and like I'll be vlogging. And he's like, I know, but I think they should see. And I'm like, I know. He, he's so sweet. Like, er he's a very underrated person of the Grumps. He's very kind. But, um, yeah, so that, that is basically the news so far. I've also, because we're having a Syndigo day to honor Daniel passing. I mean, to honor Daniel because he passed. I didn't phrase that right. Um, I have bought Syndigo stickers off Redbubble and I have bought Syndigo shirts. I bought the Closer to Me Than Him shirts um, in a couple sizes because I mean I couldn't splurge and like buy one in every size. But hopefully um, because Matt and Ryan will be there that I can get in contact with them and they can help me out with that. Um, but I'm excited because I think this is a really good step forward for the channel and for my
my cosplay career. And I really want to do this. I, I really want to do this trivia thing. Not really even for myself, for the channel. It's just like, I really just want to like do something fun. Because like, a, a big problem I have with VidCon, and I was just telling my friend Nisa about this, is it's really just become a petting zoo of YouTubers. Like, it's not even the networking system that it should be. Like, VidCon was a convention that was literally created for YouTubers to come together. But it's just become something where fangirls will, like, act desperate and crazy just to, like, get two seconds with their favorite YouTuber and then cry about it. It's just... Some of the things I've seen... I've been there once, and some of the things I've seen are just ridiculous. Like, I remember talking to Ross last year, and, like, he almost got stampeded by a literal sea of girls. Like, he described it to me like the valley scene in The Lion King, which I actually haven't seen The Lion King, but I know that scene, and it was just like, I feel so bad for him. He had actual bruises from, like, being pushed by people, and I was like, I was just like, oh dear god. And, like, I can, great, uh, you know, I can thankfully say that, like, I'm not one of those kind of people, and I'm just like, it's one of those things that scares me as a YouTuber. It's like, I know I'll probably never reach the size of a lot of these YouTubers that, like, get chased and get mobbed, but it's still a frightening thing, because I am friends with YouTubers, and, like, I associate with YouTubers and work with them, so when things like that happen... I've even seen, like, it doesn't just affect the YouTubers, it affects the people around them, and it's just, like, it's a frightening thing. And, I don't know. I even just watched a, um, what is it, Dose of Buckley, and he had a really good video about, like, entitled fans, and I, I just wish, like, at VidCon they would just kind of, like, play that on, like, the loudspeaker or something, because it's a really good reality check for a lot of these kids that just think that like just because we watch their videos and just because we buy their merchandise that they owe us something it's like no they do what they do and that's what pays us back like yeah okay i bought your shirt so i demand us a, a photo and a hug it's like no they create their content so if anything we still owe them more i, I don't know like saying that maybe will sound kind of shitty but i completely agree with like what, what Buckley said about it and it's just like I, I've, I just have seen so many fans take advantage of like my friends and take advantage of the YouTuber friends that I have and like I've even I've had experiences with fans like trying to get through me to get through my you know through to my friends and it's just it's a hard thing to watch and it's just a really it's just a really shitty thing to see and, like, I have friends now that, like, don't want to be a part of communities and don't want to go to conventions or go to events and things like that because of these kind of people. And, you know, I see YouTubers kind of shutting the door to working with new YouTubers and working with, you know, up-and-coming people. And it's just because they get taken advantage of. And it's because people feel so entitled. Like you're famous because of someone like me, you know, just a fan or just an inspired fan, so you owe me this, and it's like, no, no one owes you shit, and I think this just comes from, and I guess now someone can call me a, a, a millennial hating millennial, which I don't, am I even a millennial, I was born in 95, D does that make me a millennial, I don't know, I don't even fucking know what that means anymore, <laughs> but I hate people who just think they're entitled to the world because they are who they are like they're so fucking special and unique that like everyone owes them everything you have to fucking earn what you get in this world it's just i don't know it's aggravating but whatever sorry i, I brought that down my point is <laughs> i'm sorry i just i it, i've had this conversation with a bunch of people for like the last few days and it's just <laughs> getting on my nerves and just i don't know anywho long story short trying to get a trivia thing going for the cosplays because I think it would be a lot of fun and I really just want to give back to people and just kind of spread spread the good word of the Grumps and Mark and Syndigo and just especially Syndigo because I mean I know the channel's technically gone I mean the channel's still up but nothing is going to come out of it ever again and it's just 
I want to celebrate Daniel's life and show people that, like, even though he's gone, the great content is still there, and there's still laughs to be had, and just great stuff. But yeah. Sorry, I'm ending out on a negative note. Um, <laughs> sorry. I hope you guys have a great day, week, month, and year. You deserve it. Bye.